Hang on one second. Oh, where the hell is the button for that? Just, okay. Oh. Oh, what time is it? It's back on. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, Coco, you probably shouldn't have fallen asleep. Mm. Oh, you had actually fallen asleep? I joked that you had. Well, you, you I, I had two hours, and I was just like, I'll just set my alarm, and I'll, I'll you know, I'll take a little nap. In between, but of course, like, what does my body do? It's just like, hey, it's dark, so you should probably be sleeping. I'm just like, complete, utter, like, deep fucking, like, you, you rang me, my, my thing went off, like, like, instinctually, like, subconsciously, like, my, I didn't even fully wake up. Like, it just, like, I, like, flicked, I, like, flicked the mute button on my, on my, my keyboard. Yeah. And then like, like grab the phone and press the button combination on the side to, to shut it off, you know, to silence the alarm. Mm-hmm. And then like literally, like without even opening my eyes, like, I like instinctually grabbed like the blankets and like turned them in such a way as to like you know, dig the the eye shielding cocoon deeper. <laughs> And only the fact that, like, uh, the the timer alarm on my phone also went off, like, 30 seconds later. So I, set a, I set a two-hour timer. Yeah. Because initially I was just lazy. I didn't want to set the alarm. But, like, I set the alarm after the timer and forgot they were both running. And, like, the timer was maybe five minutes off. Or the timer woke me up. And I was just like, I'm not going to have long already. Long, 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 long. Oh, poor cupcake. Cupcake okay, okay, gets run through the uh, gets run through the rigor. It actually wasn't that bad. I was just like, uh, are you gonna finish that thought? The thought was, hey, look, blankets. Uh, that's mostly because I'm a dipshit and probably, probably should have gotten home a lot sooner than I did last night. And then having to be at work at like 6 a.m. Yeah. You can do this another time, you know. No, no, you're fine. I'm awake now. Okay. If you say so. You, you walk away now. I will end you. <laughs> I'm awake now, goddammit. Uh, if I have to try to fall asleep now, it, it'll be a shit show. Poor cupcake. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Super Happy Fun Jabatron Tea Party with Kiki and Cupcake. The world may be a dark and frightening place, but at least we have each other. Okay. Hi, Cupcake. I am Cupcake. You... you almost turned into a robot there. <laughs> I am Cupcake. <laughs> so I forget already, what were the new animes you got? Uh, the ones I ordered? Didn't some just arrive? Or was it just you ordering? I just ordered it. I haven't. Uh, I ordered too late in the week, and it's... I think it's still in in processing. Let me hang out one second. I haven't had a lot of time to actually even look at that kind of shit. It's like, hey, look, it's time to work. Hey, look, it's time to sleep. Hey, look, it's time to work. Okay, what's that weird imprint on your forehead? I fell asleep in my bottle of energy drink that's the logo i will admit that uh it was my grandparents 62nd wedding anniversary this year 62nd anniversary wedding anniversary yeah well i mean they're in their 80s yeah that that makes sense all right most married people i know these days are near my age or their significant other is dead so 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, my grandparents are both still alive. Uh, yeah, so it's in fulfillment. It, uh, I ordered Strike Witches, the movie, show by Rock, and Assassination Classroom Season 2, Part 1. Which begs the question, where is Part 2? Because Part 1 came out... No, Part 1 just came out, like... Or, no, it comes out Tuesday. Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, I didn't realize Show by Rock... Or the show by Rock was a video game. Oh, is it? Jeez, oh. Well, that's a thing. Well, all I know about this show is that one of them has cat ears and a guitar. That's about yes. it. That's that's all I know. It's a rhythm game. There's 20 different bands, each with their own style, and special cards. But it also has a minor Sims-like aspect. Okay. Whatever. Crazy. I've never even heard of this developer. Nor am I going to attempt to say it. Nope, that's all in Japanese. That's probably why I've not heard of them. <laughs> they don't appear to have an English site. The game just hasn't been ported yet. Nope. Oop, oop. Oh, save the pieces. Or don't. Whatever. I'm still recording, right? Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay. Take that. So, have you seen... I don't know why you would have bothered to see it, but have you seen the new trailer for Ghost in the Shell? Uh, no. I believe I actually missed that. It's been a Crazy week. Uh, wow. Ooh, you got all uh, robity again. Is that an issue on my end? What? You got all robity again. Uh, you know what? It's probably because I'm looking away from the. Hang on. I'm looking at. Mouse is to my left. Oh. Uh. To my right because I'm retarded. Also, my eyes are still adjusting because someone. Someone. <coughs> not you. Um. <laughs> um, someone insisted that I leave, uh, leave my door open so that the dog could come visit. And then, of course, what does the dog do? Comes down, hits all the lights on the way down into the into the office, you know, with the motion sensors, and then leaves immediately. And they're all on twenty minute timers. So, when you when you were calling me and everything, that that caused him to come down to see what's up. So he kicked all the lights on. Then he left. <laughs> <laughs> so then it went from super bright because all the all our headlights and shit came on and then dropped back into it was coming back into darkness and so my eyes are all like all kinds of fucked up right now that's why I see me like looking down because I'm waiting for my eyes to stop hurting alright uh, oh Ghost in the Shell yes thank you sorry I'm... Bato still looks hella weird is it better? there's more of it alright I'm watching yeah, they they really needed to fix Bato's eyes. That that I'm not sold. What I what I can't for the life of me comprehend as I'm watching it is why is Scarlett Johansson? Like I get star power, but why? Like the only reason to choose her would be because she's used to doing stunts. Yeah. But a lot of women, especially Asian women, are used to doing that. That's Oh, so much is the CG anyway. Yeah. Still a bad choice. They did this weird thing with this multicultural cast, except for Scarlett Johansson. And why does Bato not have eyes there? Oh, what the hell? All over the place. Oh, wait, wait. She got the body as an adult? What? Yeah, by the way, they're changing the plot a bit, especially of her character. Like, do they understand the concept that the reason why she feels the ghost in the shell, quote-unquote, stirring in her, is that because... She's been in a fully cybernetic body since she was, like, five. Yeah. Like, which is an unheard of thing, even in that time frame. Uh... Oh, that's the fucking puppeteer. Yeah. I know, I know that look. That's the fucking puppeteer. I've heard mixed reactions to that specific change of the character. I feel that doesn't 
uh, I feel that kind of ruins the point of her, other than being a badass and being, you know, awesome. The, that she the whole the whole mystique around her, yeah. her and her like exploits is the fact that she's she's one of the only people in the entire world who has. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. It depends. It depends on which kind of annuity you're you're checking into because the original one is that she was a small child, and when, like in the original manga written by Shiro Masamune, she was a small child. There was a plane accident. That's the one that they follow in uh, Standalone Complex, where she like she was a small child and like basically. Like they had to transfer her brain because her body was completely wrecked mm-hmm. from the crash. She was alive, but she was like completely paralyzed. So they just they literally just took her brain and dumped it into a into a body. And there's this whole thing about like they would never done a full cybernetic uh, switch out on a child because like they're growing. Like how the hell do you do that? Yeah, it's that that would be. And then, like, in, I think it's Arise, they talk about, they take it one step further and say that she was still a fucking fetus. Like, she was, like, her mother was eight months pregnant when the accident happened. And so she's never actually, like, she has no conceptual feeling of what it was to be, like, a full flesh and blood human being. That probably because, takes it a bit far. Yeah, there was this whole thing about, like, that. that would, like, that that somebody that was like had never even seen a human like their original human body like how would that how would that affect their psyche mm. like you've always been a human brain and, a, and basically a robot body yeah i mean i'm probably still not yeah. gonna see the movie or at least not until it's out on digital and, and then i'll hate watch, watch it and it's like you know available for streaming mm-hmm we could just badmouth it to the end of time. Um, but yeah, still bad choices all around. Weird ex- just... aesthetic choices. Weird... Because I know certain things got to change for the theater. Especially when you're in tr- moving medias. But that's that's an unnecessary change. I, I, I just... I dislike that entire setting. Like, they very obviously are pulling from the Murmura Ushi, whatever, the original animated movie aesthetics, which, while interesting, are so blatantly, like, a bad ripoff of, of Philip K. Dick setting. Like, uh, Blade Runner, obviously, but, like, also very, uh, like, very much, like, Mega Tokyo setting, which... It is technically true, but I love, I love the like, I love like the post post World War Three, uh, mega like mega city setting like, mm-hmm. uh, like uh, a rise and uh, standalone complex to this thing where it's, you know how it was very like that had had a lot of like like like, it looks like Times Square all over the city. There's ads, big giant ads yeah. running everywhere. Like in like in like a rise and stuff. It's very like sterile. Like, it's very big city, like, big giant city, but they've removed all the ads. There's no billboards. There's no nothing. Like, it's very, like, gray and sterile. And, like, what makes it pop is all of the, uh, like, all of their equipment is very, like, colorful, which I know sounds like a really weird aesthetic, but, like, like the Tachikomas are blue. The Umikomas are, like, a bright crimson red. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, their their gear, their armor and stuff is some is some combination of like crimson and gray, like their battle suits or whatever. Which they went with a cream colored battle suit, which seems like an obvious grab at ooh, she's almost naked. I don't know. I I'm I'm going for really stupid like grasping at straw arguments about why, like why I don't like the aesthetic, which is weird because usually I'm just like it'll be fine. This one I'm looking at, I'm going like. Why did they go that way? What? Yeah, it. I don't. I don't get it. I'm not them though, so. No, I know. I, well, they're I, very I, obviously, yeah. Yeah. They're they're going with a very like American take on, like Japanese cyber pop out cyberpunk. What did you just hit? 
uh, I moved my arm and, and tapped the back of my hand against the bottom of my desk. Uh, don't do that. It hurts. Oh, I'm sorry, can you not get down, kitty? Do I got too much junk in the way? Even though there's a bed on the other side you can jump on? I, I had I just had hoped so much that they were gonna go with the standalone complex like setting. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, but like I didn't even give a shit if they did the goofy leotard with the leather jacket. Like that was okay because that was that was really kind of a running gag about like that was them poking fun at his his aesthetic of like really tough like barely you know, cyber dressed commando wearing like yeah yeah. You know, basically lingerie on the job and then nobody even flinches about it because she's such a like a fucking ridiculous badass. Mm-hmm. I mean in defense of character, she's a machine mostly and probably doesn't care about things like nudity beyond oh, dude, no. beyond <laughs> other people. Maggie's, oh god dude. Her whole character arc is that she basically uses her her sexual wiles in her job like yeah she doesn't even like back away from that in the manga like she very clearly is not against using sex appeal against her enemies there's a whole thing there's a whole line in the original manga about like she bursts into an enemy stronghold and like she's wearing like basically nothing more than like a swimsuit and a jacket yeah they're just like they're just super confused as she's oozing them to death like you know running through corridors this is unrelated to what we're live talking anime. about. <laughs> oh, school live. Yeah, I was like, I was like, live alive, love alive, and I'm like, love live. What? That's already no school live. Yeah, I kind of figured that it would eventually get a dub. Yeah, I should probably try to watch it. There is an probably. anime I tried to watch that I can't remember the name of right now, so I'm gonna go look for that. Mm -hmm. I got. I don't think I finished the first episode. And why would you? It's like if everything wonderful about Nichijiro was done wrong. Ooh, what show is that? Um, hang on. Is it? No. Paul. Give me a second, and I will find it. Oh my god, the Japanese are crazy. Are you talking about how their companion robots will become security guards, or something else? Uh, there are nine volumes to Ray Zero's Japanese release. I'm so glad we didn't go that way with Whoops. with American releases. <laughs> There would be some seriously pissed off collectors. That'd be so expensive. Didn't they like really? Didn't they try to do that like early two thousands or something? I feel like you. I feel like you're right on target. I I can't think of the, whatever, the, the what had happened, but like, you're I feel very like I remember you and I talking about that. I, mean, I was like, I was like the one time they tried that, they got basically murdered at the, at the storefront. Yeah. Cupcake, you're blurry. I'm always blurry. There you go. It's like your camera refused to see you. It's because I'm I'm rocking back and forth. The camera's having a hard time locking onto me in the dark. Let's see. Pa maybe I'm supposed Panny... to shift into reality again. Okay, it's called Panny Pony Dash. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for you. So you've seen it? Uh, uno momento. Oh, do you have it? P P. P P P N. <laughs> Where are we at? Oh, you oh, can't yeah. see it at home, but listeners, he's just kind of looking for lettered sections. <laughs> Shut up! I punch you. How? You're in a different state. Candy Graham for Mongo. Candy Graham for Mongo. <laughs> I'm sorry that you bought this. Alright, I didn't want to like this again. Uh oh, yep. Hang on.
I don't just own it. Holy fuck. That's like a fancy box. Why do, you, why do you have a fancy box for this shit show? Rebecca Miyamoto, the dumbest 10 year old teacher I ever watched. Oh, God. To put this in perspective, this is the original release, and it came out in. Where's the copyright? Manufactured. Oh, you don't even want to know. Never mind. When? Jesus Christ. How, how long ago do you think this came out? This Early 2000s? Uh, not quite. Uh, right decade, but not... Uh, 2012? Earlier. 90s? 2006. Six? This release is 2006 which means the show came out like you said in the early 2000s but this has been in my collection for over 10 years and that makes me feel sad (laughs) because this is like one of the first things i collected that means like this is this is back when i was still right in bushy tail collector not oh my god i own so much shit i don't have any time to watch anything (laughs) this show is weird i'm oh this is one of the ones that has uh, the DVDs have that. Do you remember Pop Up Videos? Yeah, it has Pop Up. It has that Pop Up Video thing going where it, like they describe shit, and then they were so cool. And I'm so sad that they don't do it anymore. Aww. Like, it took a shit ton of effort, but I would that if if you were gonna if you were gonna spend like 150 bucks on a collector's edition, and they had that, that would be worth that'd be hilarious. I don't know what anime I should start watching next. The one with uh, no chicks on the front of it. Bathing Boyfriends? What, free a swim club? No, no. There's there's a manga called oh. Bathing Boyfriends. Make a scented free. splash in aromatherapy. Oh, 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 oh. Like, it's just when a... you say bathing boyfriend, I just immediately think of free. <laughs> In the manga, we're the not, eight main male we're characters. We're just like wearing speedos. Well, no. If you want pure gay anime, wa- anime, anime, watch Yuri on yeah, Ice. Okay, so male characters age seventeen to thirty-two become bath rangers. To heal the I know you bathhouse. Crazy. This looks like an elaborate ad for (laughs) bathhouses. Pretty much. Well, I mean, they talk about that how they've been on the decline because, uh, like, more and more uh, homes are getting uh, at least a bathing space. Yeah. Their bathrooms are becoming more. uh, Even though they're still very Japanese, they're they're also very Western now. Yeah. That and there's a lot of places you can go to have a bath that isn't a bath house. Yeah. And more so that a lot of like bath houses have converted to being like like what like love hotels are to like crashing. Yeah. Like individualized like bathing spaces where it's not very much like the communal bath house is kind of they still have it but like it's more of like a like a oh, oh something we could do together kind of yeah you know like like you go to the amusement park kind of thing like I don't know like a social gathering type deal. So, uh, there's going to be a new Yu-Gi-Oh anime. What a shock! And his hair is extra ridiculous. Oh, I haven't even I haven't even seen it. Here we go. Oh boy. In, incoming. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, he duels on a surfboard, apparently? Card games on motorcycles? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my god, they're animating Heaven's Wheel. Jesus, pity club. Ooh. Sorry, I'm looking at Anime News Network's, like, I haven't looked at this in a couple weeks. It's, like, going through their, like, their major feed or whatever. I am, I am not cut up. I have not kept up with 
the Fate series just because like so much of it just Yeah. Yeah. Like cake, it's so good. Fuck that. It's all so sad. It's all like, oh this person failed and died. This person failed and died. This person failed and died. And then you have <laughs> Fate Ilya Prisma whatever, which is the fucking like let's make an adorable magical girl anime basically a shit show the rest of the time. Yeah. Hey look. Ilya's mom and dad live happily ever after and they're traveling the world. Yeah, nothing bad ever happened. Nothing bad. This is the world where everything was set right and everybody got to live happily ever after. Why they couldn't do it for Madoka Magica, I'll never understand. Because this is an unforgiving world? Question mark? Basically. Oh, yeah, this goofball. Uh-huh, yeah. Like, how is his hair even standing up under its own power, God damn it. Well, apparently it changes or changes color when he goes into his not him form. VR space. Why is that a board while dueling? Because why Card not? Card games on surfboards. Card games on surfboards. Oh, this is the fifth? How yeah. Many of you... Yeah. Which one was the motorcycle one? That's, um... I think the third one? Because the second one is Dueling Academy. Uh -huh. I think the motorcycles is the third one. The fourth one, I don't know very much about. 5Ds was season 4? Whatever 5Ds is. Hmm. Yeah, because the new one is Yu-Gi-Oh! V-Reigns? The VR duels. Oh god, they don't, don't do what I think they're going to do with it. It's just like, you know, 3D VR space. So, I'm going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! with a VR headset now? Probably. Only I'm not, because I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore, and I am not shelling out for a VR headset. But Kiki, it's the way of the future! Uh... Alright, so we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, and then Yu-Gi-Oh! RPG. Zexel? Zexel. I've never even seen Zexel. Did it get released over here? Oh god, yes it did. Holy shit. Like, I collected the original one for Shits and Giggles. I don't even think I give a flying fuck about the later ones. Like, I probably should, but what the hell? Wow, that hair. That hair. They all, like, they all have crazy hair. Taking place in the near future in a place called Heartland City, the story focuses on Yuma Tuskumi, a young duelist who, who strives to become a duel master champion but despite being an amateur. One day, during a duel with a rival named Shark, a mysterious spirit called Astral appeared before him and helps him win. Astral explains to Yuma he is searching for his lost memories. Which have been transformed into a monster card. Of course. A monster card that is spread out over other cards, as you do in Yu Gi Oh! Of course? Of course! Of course. Uh, why is this. Why? Why this? It would be really hilarious if, like, one of the protagonists is, like, looks completely normal, but then when he went to duel, his hair just went completely, like, batshit super saiyan. That would make sense, though. Not your everyday hair. Nobody even second guesses the fact that it looks fucking ridiculous. I mean, you're clearly the main character. That's why you have the dumb hair. 
I suppose I can start watching that other Monster Girl anime that looks like it's less terrible. Whatever it's called. What the fuck is it oh, called? Oh, Kiki, they're all terrible. Oh yeah, there's the, the dragon made one, too. I'm pretty sure I can stream that. Yeah, that actually looks adorable. Uh, that's really, that's really good. Yeah. Honestly. Like, everything I've, I've seen, like, it's very being very critically uh, acclaimed, I guess. It's Interviews just, with Monster Girls. That's what I was thinking of. Mm. Answer, man, did you have any high school kids really hang out on the roof? No, God, no. Never go to the roof. Only bad things happen on the roof. Especially if you're not the lead. And then sometimes even if you are the lead. So... Oh, this one. Yeah, I heard about this one. The girl with a... He's like a headless horseman or whatever. Oh yeah, it's got the vampire girl who like nibbles on everybody. Yum 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 yum. They like not actual bite, but it's like yum 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 yum. Oh, that poor girl, <laughs> having to carry around her own head. I think they could come up with a system where she wouldn't have to, but man, I mean, what do I know? I don't know. Maybe it won't stay on if she puts it on her neck. I don't. What's she supposed to be? Is that like Duhan? Yeah, I that don't. Irish thing? Like a... uh, I'm gonna look that up. Because why not? Learning is magical. Why is Clamp making a kabuki themed anime? Why hasn't Clamp already done that? So random. I'm not seeing anything that says a doula can't necessarily not put its head back on, but there's probably a reason. I mean, it's your literal headless horseman. Mm -hmm. Figuratively literal. They use a human spine as a whip. Well, that's interesting. I don't think that'd make a very good whip. Probably not. No. Like I'm imagining the snapback action and No, that'd be more like a wiggly baton. Pretty much. Did you see the the card capture Sakura Guinness World Wrecker thing? Yeah, the guy down in Peru or whatever. Yes. Kind of so. <laughs> I was looking at like the news sheet the last two weeks, just like trying to catch up to the point where like I was paying attention. <sighs> oh god, there's another Sailor Moon stage musical. Well, yeah, oh, wait. they're really. Uh... Doing well, so. Madness. Madness and blasphemy. I need to see them. I must consume all the moon. Mm -hmm. I saw, um, the, the, Ed Lofty went to us by one of the best buys. And so I stopped in after we got done with dinner. Yeah. And they actually had all of the new, uh, Viz Sailor Moon releases on sale for like 30 bucks a piece. Holy fucking shit. I mean, y'all apart, so it was like 60 bucks a season, but like, that's still not terrible. Nah. I was like, go to sell, stop back on next day off. Yeah. I didn't have any money on me, otherwise I probably would have bought something. So I was like, ooh. I mean, I had money, but you know, I didn't have spending money, so I was just like, ah, I'll come back. Because I think the sale's good through the end of the month. There's a giant Lapras plushie, and I need to have it. That. Ah. Like Lapras, it, like the Pokemon? Yeah, it's only $236. That's not that bad. It's roughly the size of a five year old, I would say. Oh, it weighs five pounds. 
What? So they're accepting pre-orders for the jumbo size plush, measuring at 3.5 feet tall and weighing 5 pounds. It's approximately one-third scale. Oh. But does not float. <laughs> Snuff. But don't take it in the bath, you goddammit. Yes. Now this is this is put it in the whatever you have that rolls, put your kid on it, and then drag it around. That's one way to get a workout. Oh, this is hilarious. I'll share. <laughs> what are we sharing? I think because sharing is caring. Okay, I see the word Santa. That looks uncomfortable. Sonico always looks uncomfortable. True. That is very true. Because now all I can think about is how that cord's flossing her ass. Pretty buds. But not in a sexy way. I, I really I really appreciate how basically every one of the, like the Sonico illustrations she just looks so uncomfortable. It's like, Cause that, oh my god, why is this happening to me? Because that's the fetish. Yeah. I, dude, Sonico as a character is fucking amazing. Yeah. Like I, I actually loved the anime. It was so great. Because she's like, She's so, like, unintentionally sexy. It's hilarious. Like, she's not, like... Like, she's definitely, like, aware of the fact that, that she's, you know, good-looking because she's modeling. But she's doing it so that she can, she can pay to be a marine biologist. Like, she's paying for her schooling by modeling. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, it's fucking great. And, like, her... Her... Whatever you want to call it. Her talent agency or whatever. Like, her agent is, like, so, like, legitimately protective of her. It's hilarious. Like very, like, big brother dad about it, like, Didn't who is this demon? Demon? We've only first met. Oh, yes, this is my agent, Mr. Kitamura. He's got the flaming demon mask for a head. So how long before she just has a VR game? Maybe that long, because she already has her, her, like, dating sim raising game, whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, isn't that on Steam? Yes, I believe it is. Sonico me. As her personal photographer, you will be responsible for Sonico's image, balancing the needs of your clients with your own vision for Sonico's future. So it's... What it's Sonico Snap. I see. It's Sonico Snap for almost $35. Oof. <laughs> Hundreds of costumes, accessories, and styles to collect. Eighteen different endings. Top comment on it on the recommendation is good game, has boobs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn boob physics. Oh my god. Her boob phased through her head when she jumped. Well, I can't ever knock herself out with her own head. That would just be sad. You could at least make it so that they bounce back and not just phase through. Because apparently uh, anime women can't feel their, their tits until they can. Why for the love of God are they doing a live action attack on Titan stage play? What? How the fuck is that gonna work? I don't know. Like, from what I understand, the live action movie was shit. Why is it getting a stage play? Other than people will probably pay for more merch. Well, that's kind of cute. Uh, voice actress Tomoko Kanata announced on TVS television program Vegan Concepts of Variety on Thursday that she's six months pregnant. Aww. The first thing was, if an entertainer becomes a kindergarten teacher, the children will listen to what they say. Canada was on the program to prove or disprove a point ahead to a school with me and Hiroshi Oda to find out. Then saying my kind of confessed, I'm actually going to become a mother. But I congratulated her upon hearing the news. She said that 
She and her husband, Waturu Mori, 33, are anxious about the couple. It's also smiley happy. Mori also appeared on the program. Thank everyone for their support. After the program, I mean, both of them updated their blogs with basically the same message, writing that the baby would, quote, probably be human baby, and that they had been anxious to have a child given Canada's age. They pushed to welcome the baby with, quote, 120% of their feelings and hope to make a happy household. Quote, more full of laughter than anywhere else, even though they are, quote, an odd couple, a sports obsessed actor, and a punny voice actress. They diverged in their postscript, with Canada worrying that Mori would, quote, send the kids on too many trips, which is apparently a reference to the Japanese proverb, send cute children on a trip, meaning make sure they experience some hardships. While Mori worried that Canada would make the household, quote, way too cheerful for anyone's good. These two sound fucking adorable. Yes, they like, do. Like, they're gonna be fucking great parents. This followed... This is followed up with this picture, which I'm going to send to you right now because it amuses me. Okay. This this is the picture that they that they posted together when they announced that that she was pregnant. Uh. Well, all right then. Carbs apparently are a symbol of love in Japan because they share the same word, koi. Sure. <laughs> Those crazy kids. Got a ring an answer man column about why the uh, the anime boom happened in the early two thousands and also why it basically collapsed under its own weight. Let's see. I'm looking forward to that ping pong anime. Might be finally decent lady led like sports anime. Or something? Huh? Is that the one that's like girls of ping pong or something? Yeah. Yeah, that that I, I saw like an image post from one of the cosplay sites I follow and I was like, what is this? I've never even heard of this. Well apparently I mean it's kinda always been, but ping pong's coming back into like being big, big. Cool again. So, anime, here comes. Hoping it's good, because it's a mostly female cast. Waka waka. Waka waka waka. Oh, and there's a bike riding anime now? That's not that weird one. <sighs> I'm looking at the, um... Winter lineup. Mm. A lot of shows I never heard of. Because I don't watch enough anime. Dude, tell me about it. Well, I mean, you pay for yours. Like, physical copies of yours. Mm -hmm. I just go, hey, let's subscribe here. <laughs> Like, you just got a new shelving unit thing. How is it already full of stuff? Uh, it's about half full. Ooh. I had a lot of overflow from before I bought it. I mean, obviously, probably within the next five years, I'll have to replace or I'll have to get either accept that I'm gonna have to find more storage space or just accept that I'm not gonna have like enough shelving. <laughs> And here is my pile of tubs of anime, my pile of other tubs, and then my shelves. Pretty much. You're moving so little I can't tell if you're frozen or not. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was reading about a bulldog, but what's up? <laughs> Nothing cupcake. Nothing's up. Just saying that I think we're out of topics. We're always out of topics. Are you kidding me? That's mostly true. 
Um, I'll try to watch more anime before the next time. More mm. not shitty anime, but there's no way of knowing until you watch it. And I'm sure you'll try to exist between that time. Yeah, that's pretty much my problem. It's like, it's like Cupcake needs to watch more anime, but Cupcake also needs to sleep. <laughs> uh, so I sleep. Well, apparently I'm really good at that sleep thing now. Oh god, there's been so many days where I've like literally come home from work and just been like, I'm gonna have some food and then I'm gonna watch something. And like a lot of times it actually ends up happening because I have enough energy to actually like catch up on the stuff I want to watch from my uh, YouTube uh, subscription list, whatever you call it, feed. Yeah. But like, like about the time I'm finishing with it, I'm like, okay, now I can suddenly. <laughs> Poor cupcake. At all. My goofy owl cup. My poor, poor, poor derpy owl. Your poor, poor, poor goofy owl. And there was another one that we called Herpaderp, but it broke. It was like derp to the extreme. Ultra Magnus derp. Mm -hmm. I think I talked about it back in the early days, though. Thank you once again for listening to the Super Happy Fun Jabatron Tea Party Podcast with Kiki and Cupcake. May our future be brighter and full of tea. Uh, so I guess goodnight, Bones. Goodnight, Kiki. Transmission terminated.